Nearly a month after she was found guilty of cyber libel in the Philippines, respected journalist Maria Reza is in court again, this time to plead not guilty for tax evasion in one of the many cases she and her online news site Rappler are facing. These charges are politically motivated. It is meant to harass, to intimidate. It is meant to be a war of attrition to try to make us afraid to keep reporting. Reza said she is holding the line for democracy in the Philippines. Reza heads Rappler, which has been critical of Philippine President Rodrigo Duterte's war on drugs. Human rights groups and reporting organizations like the International Center for Journalists have condemned the many cases against Reza and Rappler, calling it an attack on the free press. In this latest case, Reza is accused of failing to supply correct tax information. Security regulators allege it allowed foreigners to illegally own shares of Rappler. But Rappler maintains foreigners don't own shares. They are allowed to invest but without voting rights and a say in operations. Reza criticized the Philippine government when we interviewed her last month. If you just look at the actions of the Philippine government against uh, news organizations, you'll see that the pattern. It's very clear. Actions really speak louder than words. In May 2020, the Philippines' largest broadcaster, ABS-CBN, was pulled off the air, and others criticized the latest passing of the anti-terrorism law for fear it may be used to silence free press and dissenting voices. Reza, an American citizen and a Princeton grad, has garnered support from more than 400 alumni and university staff who urged the U.S. government to step in. And over 11,000 people signed an online petition to drop charges against Reza. But in the end, she says, it's up to the Filipino people. Democracy isn't a given. Each generation fashions it. We're now standing on the rubble of what my generation created. And I'm holding the line so that your generation, I hope, will be able to build something better than what we've done. Kat Sandoval, Newsy.